can't come out of your screen, do this. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. I'm a certified brain health coach and a neurofeedback practitioner. I am here to share with you that if you can't come out of your screen, I want you to know that it is because of a dopamine dependency. We know that screen time is a super normal stimulus. Whether you're all the way up at the top of the continuum using explicit matter or all the way down to using social media and texting and DM. So even email can be a super normal stimulus if you like the ping and the pull back to the screen is there for you. It's because of excessive levels of dopamine. Now, let me tell you what these high levels of dopamine from the screen do. What it does is it creates a state where when you're not on your electronic or your screen, your brain enters into a wired and tired state. Tired is too much slow processing. Wired is too much fast processing. And yes, they can happen simultaneously or you can swing back and forth between them in what I call the pendulum effect. The pendulum effect makes you feel anxious, overwhelmed, and exhausted. But this is the pull of screens. When you go back into the screen and your brain gets dopamine flowing again, it takes the edge off the wired and tired pattern that it created. So in fact, screen time is dysregulating you so you no longer feel good in your life which pushes you back into the screen. The push and the pull into screen time is real. There's many scientific articles and there's many books coming out showing that screen time is creating in the youngest generation, it's creating mental health challenges like we've never seen them before. Science shows that the younger generation for the first time ever has worse mental and physical health. Now, if you're here, I do not want that for you. So I'm going to give you a brain hack strategy to put your screen down and to get back into your life to get dopamine from your world. Now, unlinking your brain from the screen can be a little challenging, but what I want to encourage you to do is put your phone down and go into the world to do the thing that you find the most exciting and the most rewarding. Remember, dopamine is the molecule of more motivation and pleasure. So you're being linked back for more motivation and pleasure to the screen. To be able to break that link, now you have to find that activity that jazzes you up in your real life that makes you feel motivated back for more pleasure. It might be skateboarding, it might be chess, it might be billiards, it might be rock climbing. Remember, dopamine's pleasure, not necessarily joy. So of course I want you to be able to get serotonin and oxytocin for connection and joy. But as a habit replacement, going for the most exciting thing that you do, that can really help you. So if you you like to longboard. Uh, my son longboards. The speed limit's 23 miles per hour in our neighborhood because of Michael Jordan. So he's actually gotten up to 23 miles per hour on his longboard. That's exhilarating. That's exciting. That's pleasurable. We're thinking about something like that here. Me, I love to box. I have a boxing bag. Kicking it, punching it feels so good. It jazzes up my system and it dumps a bunch of dopamine into it. Now, if you can't think of the thing that you like to do that's exciting, do some push-ups. They're shown to push the harmful stress-related hormones and neurotransmitters out and down and to increase all the good hormones and neurotransmitters that make you feel good and can help your nervous system be able to feel better and to come out of the screen. Now, if you're really struggling to put screen time behind, you could most definitely benefit from the help of advanced neuroscience techniques and technology like neurofeedback. Neurofeedback is easier and more affordable to access than ever before. Now you can do it at home using at-home hardware and working with me using online software. I offer programs top tier neurofeedback where we work together. You work with my whole coaching team. So you use the highest level technology. Plus you get to meet with us. We share all the data with you and we give you coaching strategies to move you forward. If you're not ready for the top tier program, I offer an entry level program called Brain Training 101. You can learn how to use neurofeedback by yourself at home with group coaching with me and my team. So go over to drtrishlee.com. 
check it out and I want you to know you have to come out of the screen if you're going to feel better because there's an increase in anxiety and increase in mental, physical, and social health consequences. So put the screens down, get back on purpose in your life. And if you want help, we'd love to help you. All right. Until next time, control your brain or it'll control you.